Good morning, YouTube. As I stated in a uh, previous video, I was going to get around to showing this uh, Techniques CD player. Um, the sound on it is really good. Every now and again, it has a hard time reading the disc. I got to pop the tray back out and put it back in. Usually, it's fine. We'll see. This unit was manufactured in April of 1986, so CD technology wasn't even five years old yet. I don't know what kind of DAC chip it has in it, but it's a good one. I'll start with the basic features, and there's actually a reason I chose Rush's 2112. It's actually the same reason I chose uh, Rush's Caress of Steel when I... Uh, Showed the CD changer, Fisher CD changer in my main system over to the left of me here. Um, so some of you might already, I might give it away for some of you. Anyway, it's pretty basic. I mean, there's nothing out, nothing fancy about it, which is fine. It's, it does what it's for. Like I said, this is my system I use for demo and speakers usually or, you know, other stuff. Because I always love this little receiver, which I actually didn't get around to uh, doing a video on yet. Anyway, just as your usual search function, a search between tracks, skip different parts. This will skip the track forward and back, you know, obviously. Stop, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Pause and play. These are your basic features for any CD player, even from 1982 up until now. So, it's a CD turns uh, 40 years old next year, don't it? Anyway, A, B, repeat. So, what I believe this to do... And like I said, I do not have the man on to. Maybe we can play with it a little bit. But if I was a betting man, it's probably like on a CD player that you can you can set it and then set it again, and then it'll keep playing a certain part of a song over and over again. Or maybe it repeats, makes it repeat two songs at once. We'll see if we can figure it out. Repeat, that's obvious. That'll play the same song over and over again. Auto space, I'm not really sure. Again, I would need a manual. Memory, that's self-explanatory. So what memory would do is just like on any CD player of any era, hit the select the track, hit memory. So like another track memory again. When you hit the play button, it's going to play them back in sequential order based on the order that you hit the you know, program them into uh, memory. Index. That might have something to do with why I picked Rush's 2112. There's a couple of them. Uh, the for Auto Nova's debut, uh, f the song Fantasy is uh, indexed. Information Society's Hack CD is indexed. Numerous classical albums, which I'm not a classical guy. Numerous classical albums, though, from that era are indexed. In time mode, that just changes the display. Anyway, let's get to it. So it's fired up, it just lights up. Zero minutes and zero seconds. Open up. There we go, we got it. So far, we're cooking with gas, we'll see. Oh, come on. Cool, read it right away. So 2112 is a six track, regular track CD. But as you see, the title track is indexed several times. So basically what this means is it's a six track CD, so we'll hit the play button. It'll start reading. So it means, uh, that means there's a disc in there. That's your track button. So that means track one, index one. So A, B, repeat. I don't know if I can... Yeah, that's exactly what's going to do. Look at that. So I was right. I have never seen a CD player with that feature before. Maybe it was common back in the day. So let's try to do an A-B repeat on, like, let's say your favorite part of the song is uh, 8 seconds to uh, 12 seconds. <laughs> Wicked. I guess I don't even have the uh, speakers hooked up to the receiver right now. I just took this out to show this. We're not going to do a sound on this one. <laughs> Pretty sure every, if you're watching this video, a uh, channel called Rock and Roll Hi-Fi, you got, you're probably, uh, you probably heard 2112 before. <laughs> it's awesome. It really is. If you haven't, it's, I wasn't trying to insult you. If you haven't, please check it out after you're done watching. That song is completely badass, especially the first seven minutes of it. So basically, index one and two. All right. We're gonna stop the A B repeat. So what track what the repeat button's gonna do obviously is that would uh that would repeat the same song over and over again. Auto space, I don't know what that what that does. Maybe in between tracks. Let's see. Oh, by the way, when we go back, you're gonna see the index. Yep, it's track one, index seven. 
I don't know what auto space is going to do exactly. The track total is 20, 30, 20, 34. Put auto space on. That's what it does. Auto space gives it, it gives the track an additional three seconds before it plays the next track. Okay. So we figured that out on our own. Wow. All right. Cool. Time mode. Okay. So that's obvious. This is going to change the time display. So right now it's telling you that we're at track three, index one, 13 seconds into the track. This is telling us that the entire track three before. Okay. The track's only three and a half minutes long. So that's telling me that we have 14 minutes before the end of the CD. That's all that is. It's how much time you have left on the album. You go back to one, I'll tell you have 30 some minutes. Yeah, 39 minutes, okay. So that's telling us that track one, so you can see up here, has 20 minutes and 20 seconds left in that track. That's your auto space. That's pretty cool. Probably a feature I would never use, but like I said, it's just neat seeing what they used to do with the old machines back in the day. That's telling us that this track, A Passage to Bangkok, only has 3 minutes and 20 seconds left till the end of it. Okay, that's also tell, that's telling you how long into the CD that you are. So that means this CD has been playing for 21 minutes and 4 seconds at that point. And this is back, <laughs> this is back to your standard display right here. Track 2, Index 1, 33, 33 seconds into the track. Now let's see if it'll let us use the index feature. I haven't really tried it on this one. I know obviously we proved that it does do the display. So index. I wanna well, let me skip in at all. No. Okay, let's go back to track one. You have to hold the button in or do you search? Okay. Nope. Yeah, I should let you. It's weird. So I I gotta ask what the point of having an index button on there is if you can't skip to an index of a song. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. So you have to go right to it. You can't skip while it's playing. You have to, let's say you want to go, let's say your favorite part of uh, 2112 is Oracle the Dream. Okay, so you're gonna want to go the Track one, index five. So before the CD even starts playing, you're on the main menu. You want to go track one, index, that lights up, and then five, and then let's hit the play button. Cool. All right. Figure that out. Anyway, what we're going to do is uh, hit stop. Good. Thing worked very well. I said usually it does. Every now and again it gives me a little bit of a problem, like it's hiccuping, but anyway. The back of it's very, very basic. Like there's nothing fancy about this machine at all. But it doesn't have to play CDs, that's its job. Okay, so typical techniques, it has its own um, AC and the uh, special cord. This is remote, so I guess if you have a uh, Techniques receiver from that era, it probably came with a patch cord that you could control the CD player with the remote for the main unit. It's your regular uh, red and white RCA out. Manufacturer date, if you look right here. April of 1986, so CD technology or CD players were at the most four years old at that point. So we're in the first five years of it. Like I said, this thing's pretty heavy and the build quality's apparent. So yeah, um, like I said, this is Techniques model number SL-P106. I like it, it's a very good test unit. Like I said, I listen to CDs a lot and I'll usually put them on shuffle or uh, make a playlist up. So for me, a single disc isn't too practical, but it'll be a good garage. I mean, actually, I can't really say that. I'd, I'd have no problem using that in my garage, but it is absolutely perfect for a demo changer. And that's what it's for. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think about this classic.